And then suddenly the finale breaks out and it goes directly. And it's so shocking, the trumpets, the timpani, everybody comes in screaming this beginning of the finale. And then suddenly the celli and the basses, they singing out, it's almost as though they've been ignored for centuries. And they say, hey, you know, we, we, we have something to say, look at us. We, and it's this huge recitative for entire section of people united to sing out in this way. And then, okay, so then what's gonna happen? Then Beethoven says, ah, but you know, remember that first moment? So the fifth comes back. Okay, then you think, okay, wait, what's going on? We're back at the first moment. And then the celli interrupt and basses interrupt again. Another recitative. And then, second moment comes back. Not loud this time, quiet. Okay, and then the celli and the basses again interrupt. Okay, another recitative. And then the prayer from the third moment comes back. And then back to the celli. So Beethoven is connecting every movement to this finale. And I believe it's about unity. I believe it's about possibility. It's about remembering your past. It's about connecting your past to your future. It's about integrating your experiences from before to what you're experiencing now. I mean, to me, this is the real genius of the piece. But Without the rest of the piece existing, this could not exist. Because when he says to us, ah, remember, remember that trip we took? You know, you have to have been there and you have to have the photos. Otherwise, you can't remember it. So he's just saying, ah, here's a little picture, remember this? And then it brings up for the listener, I hope, a whole memory bank of what you just heard. And that sets us up for this most amazing beginning to the Ode to Joy, which is in the low instruments of the orchestra, and it's quiet. It's an intimate, it's a quiet. And I love the feeling when I'm conducting. Of course, I can't see the audience, but I feel, oh, oh, we arrived. See, for Beethoven, he, he's not saying, Okay, everybody, we arrived. This is our stop. Get off the bus. He's saying, oh, I know you're asleep. I know you're resting. But when you look out the window, you'll suddenly realize that we already arrived. I mean, it's so beautiful. It's so intimate. You know, how do you top this? He really can't, but he does. He brings in the baritone, the voice, the bass baritone singing. And the poetry is all about, it's all about joy, it's all about freedom, it's all about humanity, it's about connecting, it's about the brotherhood of mankind. And I think, you know, it, it just doesn't get more brilliant than this. The feeling at the end of the Ninth Symphony, I think the feeling is one of, you know, just eruption and in celebration that, you know, I feel that everybody, almost the whole orchestra, I know the audience, you know, everybody just wants to stand up and be seen. And, you know, we're here. And for me, it's a feeling, I guess it is ultimately this sense of shared joy that we all took this journey together and we made it. We're at the end and somehow we're changed by having taken this journey together.